Hopefully we don't have any more like incidents with anyone getting hit with a nutcracker. Yeah. I don't want to get hit with a nutcracker. <laughs> I don't wish that on anybody. Is there a stitch still in? Especially oh, it's like stage. a little white thing. Let me see. She has a little tiny stitch. Yeah, you can see from the side. Yeah, it's like, like a little hair. It's name is Sally. Oh, okay. <laughs> what was the other one's name? I didn't name. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> The fishbowl effect, like the, yeah, it looks so weird. Yeah. Wait, do it again. <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> oh, what do I want to do first? Let's see. Damn stuff. <laughs> So, I, there's a story behind this. So, I was originally born in Michigan, um, but I'm still a Wolverine fan. Um, so, I'm probably not gonna be buying this Buckeye shirt. Okay, I love this music. Yeah, like, can we do the Nutcracker? When we first get the Nutcracker. We are all coming from Nutcracker rehearsal. What are you, what do you guys play? I'm a party girl. I'm a party girl. <laughs> I'm a party girl and a ginger. That's awesome. So we're just about to go see Parallel Connections and it's gonna be really fun. So yeah. and then have a sleepover after. stop becoming a student of ballet. Uh, I, I don't really think that you ever stop being a student in life, period, but it already brings so much discipline and time efficiency and understanding what it takes to accomplish things. Work ethic is usually not an issue for these young artists, but it's balancing time. That is the hardest thing. So hello, I am studying and doing my homework right now and I have a lot to do because I just um, got out of rehearsal for Nutcracker. It was really fun. It was just my cast and we ran through the whole entire show, Act 1 and Act 2. It was really fun. It's tough to balance dance, the Nutcracker school and everything else that you do in everyday life because I have to study for this test, I have to do my homework, I have to go to two nut Nutcracker rehearsals and then I have all these dance classes. It's all about motivation and how much work it, I'm doing during the day um, and then if I don't do it during the day, I have to either push it to the next day and have more work that day or do some at night. So I still do, I still have a lot of work to do, but um, it's all about how I manage it. And that's if I'm kind of doing more dance than school work, then I have a lot more school work to do after I've done all of my dancing. All right, time check guys. What? So here's a little update. We're doing microphone checks so we can talk to the other students and the teachers. Here's what it looks like in my class. There's the chat pod. There's all the students. I'm not going to show their names. And there's what we're learning. I always follow my dreams. I never give up. I show kindness towards others. And I stay confident. And I try to be the best person that I can be. And that always helps me if I um, read that or just think about it. It always helps me kind of go on and say, like, okay, kind of like a bit of my motivation. I had to pick up dinner because tonight is a really crazy night for me. And I have to eat in the car. So, yay. <laughs> How was school? I think it was good. I don't really remember. <laughs> you don't remember school? <laughs> well, once I 
to get out. I just want to, like, get rid of all that. Um, I know a lot of kids, like, watch TV in their free time. I do that, too, but most of my free time, I'm, like, focusing on schoolwork. Um, we have breaks at the dance studio, and if you have any, like, math homework or science, you can just get it done there. Um, it is sometimes hard to balance it. Like, there are some nights where I have a lot of dance and a lot of homework, so I really have to, like, hunker down <laughs> and get all my homework done. I try to get as much as I can done in, like, study hall at school or maybe at home before I go to ballet, but there are a couple nights a week where I have to do it at the studio at one of the tables. <laughs> so today I have some homework. And I have math, and then I also have social studies. And we have Molly and Kayla. <laughs> Molly has her food over there. And there. <laughs> and there. <laughs> I have too much food for tonight. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And then... I don't have any homework tonight. But I do. <laughs> <laughs> but I do. But I don't have very much of it. I just have this page, this page, and this page. I already finished the first two pages. And then I have to do this huge, like, paragraph. And then I have a few things on the back that I have to do. So I'm going to work on that, and hopefully I finish it before I have to go in class. It's hard because when I tell my teachers that I have performances or dances, they don't really think that's an excuse that I didn't finish my homework all the way. And then they get upset with me and then I like might not have as good of a grade in that class. But I feel like if I'm gonna continue dance, then I just have to figure out a way to squeeze in homework and stuff. <laughs> having enough time to do your homework, having enough time to study, having enough time to still go to your classes, eat meals, um, be driven around, it's time. And it takes dedication from the students, but I would say sometimes more of the parents. We're really lucky. Our family lives 15 minutes from the studio. Um, so we're not spending a lot of time driving back and forth. Um, we can drop her off and go home and keep our own lives in balance. You know, my husband and I, my husband's a lawyer and I run a business. And so we can keep that all in balance because we live nearby. Um, other people have a harder time, I think, when they're, there are people here, families who drive an hour each way to be here. I, and I can imagine that that would be a real struggle. Um, because it would just eat up every moment of your spare time. It gets to be your entire life. And, and if you're a kid, you need to have time to be a kid, too. Like, you need to go trick-or-treating on Halloween. You need to go to a school dance. You know, you need to do those things to be a complete person. No, Tippy. Say hi. Hello, do you want to see your face, not your eyes? Nut day is when you take a day off from dance because you have a rehearsal on Sunday and you dance every other day of the week. So it's nice to take a nut day because sometimes you get really stressed out or sick of dance sometimes. Ah uh, no, I wouldn't say that. I would just say so I have a rare day off today.
<laughs> it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. It's such a different Thanksgiving, I feel, since obviously we're not in Detroit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, your dad and your brother are in... Um, are they in Liverpool right now, or are no, they in London yet? No, they're not in London. They're at um, a place called St. George's Park, where the English national teams train. It's supposed to be really nice. Seven. Oh, yeah! Is that the, the one, one with yeah. the girls? I was yeah. like, what okay. the heck? But I read an article about that, because people like generally did not like that. Yeah. If you put like a hockey guy, yeah. we would, yeah, just we just would like get you guys. Right, right, right. 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 because um, Nutcracker is approaching quickly, only three more weeks, um, but definitely a lot less like worried about like rehearsals and things um, than last week because the first company rehearsal really helps you, um, like, I don't know, helps move you along. Um, the first company rehearsal is really scary, um, especially like I can't imagine, I guess I could imagine um, last year, but what Lauren and Alina felt like before the first company rehearsals. I know that last year I was super worried. Uh, this year I was still like, like really worried too, just because it's the company and the company is amazing. And I don't know, it's just such a big honor that it kind of gets a little like nerve wracking because like a lot of those people in the room with you are like your role models. It's amazing to work with the company, the professional company of Ballet Met. They are super nice people. Um, I'm really excited for the when we start to dance with the company because our first rehearsal with the company is in two days. Yeah, it's in two days. And I'm really excited about that because um, the company members are so nice and they make like learning the choreography with them so easy and it's not like, they make it feel like it's just one of your friends that you see every day. It's not really. I mean, you are, it's not really nervous, it's really exciting because when you're with the company, it makes it so much easier because you know like all the people that you're gonna be with, like the Spanish doll and who your um, family is, so it's really nice. That means we get to use like all the props and all the, like the couch and the stairs, that's gonna be really fun. I'm really excited to start working with the company so that it's like all put together and I understand more of what I'm doing because a lot of, Clara's things are based around the company. So it's important to start working with the company so that we get our muscle memory, like where they are and what they're gonna be doing so that we're not getting hit in the face with a point shoe. <laughs> uh, I'm really nervous because I'm nervous that I won't be able to have the audience read my like actions as well as other people's because uh, I keep getting corrections about not having as big of a, like as big of movements. So I need to start working on that a lot more. I remember as a child being like, Oh my God, when you see like a professional dancer or, or even someone who's just older than you, you're like, you look up to them and you aspire to be like them. So I see that through the kids and they're, they're just hilarious. It's great, it's great to be a part of, I'm so glad that we get to have that with the kids. <laughs> To rehearse with student dancers, um, like the academy is so um, so special because they look up to you so much, um, and you have such a um, 
a flashback of what it was like when you were young, getting to dance with like older dancers in the room and professionals. So it's um, such a nostalgic feeling. <laughs> To work with the Clara and be the prince, um, it's kind of nerve-wracking because you are a pivotal piece in the production. Um, but it's also really special, the bond that you get to have with Clara and um, kind of take her on this journey throughout this magical world. Um, and to introduce all the other diverts and dancers um, is really um, a magical and incredible like thing to do. It can be overwhelming, um, intimidating, I think, dancing with a company, especially if it's your first time. And Clara is like the, she's the lead of the, I know the ballet is called The Nutcracker, but it's, it's, it's through Clara's perspective that we take this journey. Um, so I think that's a lot of responsibility for a young girl, especially to tell, you know, tell that, that journey. Um, and every year, the, the, the girls, the students who, who portray her do such an amazing job. They're coached so well. They put everything into it. You can tell on stage they're having fun in battle scene there. Um, I mean, it, it's such a fun role for a young girl, and I, it's so magical, and I feel like um, it's, it's something so special. Okay, so Elena go again, and then you. Okay, so we got it. Is that all right, Molly? You can go in the back and do it if you feel like you need to practice it. That's perfectly fine. You have practice, nice. Super, 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 super excited. Um, I would have to say super for about five minutes to actually explain how excited I am because it is our first rehearsal in the Ohio Theater. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and also the first show on stage, which is on Friday. And it doesn't feel like it is um, actually here. It feels like there should be way more rehearsals. It's come by so fast. And it's just like really exciting because when you think about it, it's like, okay, it's almost Christmas, by the way. It's like, ooh. And um, I have the last show on Christmas Eve, so that's really exciting. And um, I always get a present on Christmas Eve, so that will be one of them for me because I love dancing. Um, I would rather be dancing than have presents. It's really nerve-wracking, but it's also really amazing to feel like, oh my gosh, I'm in the Ohio theater. You get to play with your makeup, you get to 
have your hair all done and you get to hear the live music play for the first time? Well, I think there have been a couple rough patches. The rehearsal is me rehearsing and I can't ask someone a question if I have one because I'm on stage.